the battle droid army is currently defending their brand new mega fortress. They've got tri droids, they've got artillery droids, they've got AAT tanks and B1 battle droids coming out the wazoo. Their very back lines is a CIS headquarters, heavily defended and with Dengar as their current leader. The Separatists have taken to hiring mercenaries and bounty hunters to help out with their strategic planning. The Republic is pushing through Swampland. They've got preliminary soldiers at the very front lines here. They're all 91st reconnaissance in ATOTs and ATTEs. And in the back line, they have more ATTEs, TX-130s, and ATOTs coming in as backup after the initial assault. This is a full-scale invasion, with over 600 clone troopers and multiple tanks to their name going up against a huge separatist fortress. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot in the algorithm. It helps my videos get discovered. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. Either way, guys, let's get right on into it here. What's up, gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off, as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship, and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then, boys, let's go ahead and press start right now and watch the Battle Droid Defenders open up into the attackers. And that's happening pretty much instantly here with some of the droid snipers as well as the high caliber tanks, turrets, etc. Firing into the clone troopers. The clones of the 91st Reconnaissance instantly piling out of the ATOT. That's exactly what the troop carrier is for. Get them to the front lines and then say hasta la vista because if you sit in that and it gets hit by an HE shell, everyone is dying. All like 80 soldiers on board are going to die in an instant. There are a lot of ATTEs on this battlefield, by the way, and ATTEs are extraordinarily powerful. So the droids are going to have to unload a lot into them to get the kills oh wow the middle ground here is just on fire and that's i think because tx 130t's attempted to come very very close and got burned down this bunker right here just licking with flames as an aat next to it goes down and an atte uh or sorry a tx 130t right there goes down as well oh we got a mover <laughs> okay <laughs> One of the droid artillery pieces is deciding to reposition. These are mobile units, which is kind of funny, so that, that thing's moving around a little bit there. Got an ATTE coming around the flank of the map over here. I'm hearing sirens go off, so that could mean its shields are down. Oh, you know what? That's the tri-droid, actually. I didn't know they had sirens on them. That's very, very interesting. I mean, look how many shots this ATTE can tank here. Now it's on fire, so it is going to go down very, very soon. The droids are doing a great job of just launching shell after shell into that thing until finally it does burst into flames. But it did kill a lot of the droid infantry on this trench here, and it looks like it did get a tri-droid kill and an AAT kill at the end of the day. Uh, this droid artillery tank has died and run into the other one. So very impressive stuff from the battle droids right there. Another tri droid getting blown sky high by clone trooper fire. Artillery over here firing away for the droids. A lot of their AATs are going down at this point. But at the very least, they've taken down a few of the ATTEs and all of the TX-130Ts are down for the count right now. And of course, the droids have a lot of bazooka troopers as well, which is one of the most efficient ways to take out ATTEs. I mean, you guys saw that one video I did a while back where we had basically 100 droid bazookas versus increasing numbers of ATTEs, and the droid bazookas held their own really, really nicely. It was very impressive. All right, right now it's still a lot of vehicle combat on the battlefield here. Not something we get to see every single day in Men of War Assault Squad 2, uh, but it is pretty fun. Most of the clone troopers just sort of hiding out in the trees right now, to be honest. I can't blame them. The Goliaths are kind of fighting right now. You might want to just lay low and chill until that is all over. Not to mention, probably a lot of these weapons that the clones are boasting are not going to be capable of firing out all this way. 
A lot of their snipers are going to be able to, but beyond that, probably not much. All right, droid bazookas do start firing into these ATTEs. And a little bit of clone infantry fire is coming into the trenches now. Again, I'm guessing those are the snipers. It's probably the only thing that's going to be capable of hitting them. Look at that. That one's on fire out there as it comes through the swamp land and into the plains. She's going down. Yes, sir. That's another ATTE down from the droids. Not too shabby. Uh, they've shot out the gunner of this one, seriously weakening it right there. Um, and it looks like we got more rockets firing at these ones over this way, but this one's just kind of coming in. There we go. There's a couple rockets going into it. Again, Top Gunner is already killed by droid fire, and these uh, droid rockets are going to take care of it, I think, for the rest of the play here. The droid infantry is really going unopposed right now. Clone infantry needs to come forward at this point. They, they are very much so needed on the battlefield. We have another ATTE over this way. We've got, oh, another one just went down over here. We've got two more over here. Okay, we've got one more over here. And then we've got some of these ATOTs, which are capable of firing their main guns. They're just not the most powerful. So I won't be expecting big things from them. On the far flank over this way, we do have 91st Reconnaissance Infantry pushing forward. Finally, it looks like they have taken some heavy losses on the battlefield thus far, but at the very least, they're getting shots off. It's just a shame they didn't come forward when the tanks really needed them. They've eliminated a, <laughs> eliminated a number of these droids. Actually, quite a number of the droids on the trenches are going down. Ah, another ATT in the distance bursts into flames. An ATOT right here bursts into flames as well. They must have done a patch for the ATOTs because ATOTs used to take forever to kill. And now it seems like they're going down in just a few shots. So that's a good thing. Of course, if you HE shot an ATOT when it's still got troops in, all of them will die, except for the crew members. But those crew members would be able to survive inside of an ATOT for ages. So it seems like maybe they got nerfed a little bit. Either way, clone trooper tanks are taking an absolute beating. The infantry is just now starting to come forward. They did not do a good job of supporting their tanks. But over here, there we go. ATTE pushing forward with infantry support below. That's a good thing. But its sirens are already going off which more than likely means it's gonna go down pretty quickly here. The clone infantry needs to act fast here as it starts to flame. Okay, a couple more bazooka shots and it is going to die. And there she goes. The clone infantry did not push enough with the ATT there to actually make a difference. And now they're starting to come out of the swamp. In fact, we have full scale infantry assault coming through now as all of the tanks have perished. Now, don't worry, the clones do have plenty of bazooka troopers like these guys over here. So if they do come upon any ATs, which they are going to, there's one way back here, uh, then they're going to be capable of killing them for sure. ATOT coming on through here. Again, not the strongest of weapons, but at the very least, it'll do something and be a distraction for the AAT. So the clones are lucky to have this thing at least coming forward a little bit right now, albeit quite a bit late. Droid infantry here is getting fewer and farther between. Uh, they've got a pretty good rack of droids over this way, but beyond that, not much going for the droids. An artillery uh, droid actually over here is crippled. That's kind of crazy to see. My goodness. My gubernatorial. So that is dead and down for the count. Uh, by the way, guys, in the last video, I mentioned that I do have a Total War channel that I post to like once or twice a week, and it's literally just for fun. And I forgot to mention the name of it, and a lot of people were asking in the comments what it's called. It's called Daily Ops. It's where I was posting my Arma 3 content for fun, but then I got really into Total War again, so now I'm posting Total War there for fun. So, yeah, if you want to go check it out, I do like Legend of Total War style disaster campaigns over there. I have a Last Roman series I'm doing, uh, and I, I do just whatever, like... Like random total war historical battles and stuff like that it's pretty fun I, i'm enjoying myself thoroughly over there okay this droid is gonna get grenaded actually his friend is going to get grenaded and he is going to get clobbered by the 91st the 91st still has a solid number of troopers i'd say there's maybe like 60 or 70 over here maybe a little bit more oh my god look at all those rockets holy cow oh there's still a lot of droids alive over here wow my goodness uh, and then we've got another maybe like 100 soldiers over here so i'd say the clones 
in total, with probably some troopers still being in the swamp, are looking at like 250 remaining troops. They took a lot of losses in the swamps and assaulting these uh, little trench lines here. So the clone troopers are not doing too swell, but at the very least, they do have infantry left alive to push forward. Uh, they're getting hit pretty hard by some AAT shells over this way inside of the fortress. Wow, that is a whole stack of droids that was supposed to be on free move mode, are they? No, they are not. All right, these guys were supposed to be on free move mode, so they would sort of scatter at the start of the battle. Um, but I guess they never came forward, and then I proceeded to forget about them. So we'll have them scatter now. There you go. Oh, AAT goes down. These droids will now push forward. Um, I guess lucky for the droids, they're getting like a little bit of reinforcements now. <laughs> um, but I think if these clones just hold these trench lines, they'll actually be able to kill them fairly easily. Um, and they are slowly but surely working their way down this way, wiping out the remainder of these battle droids. And then there's still a bunker there and a bunker here for the clones to take out. This AAT over here did end up going down. These clones will have some more droid stragglers to take care of. As you can see, they're still taking some losses as they push through. And there's still some droids back this way as well throughout some rubble. But beyond those droids, there is just the back lines here, which still boasts three AATs and probably like 70 or so battle droids, including Dengar back here. So the clones do have some serious opposition ahead of them, and they need to stop depleting their soldiers. They need to really grit their teeth and stop taking losses because right now is the time when they need to make sure they still have troops left alive at the end of this thing. I don't know what that massive explosion was. I don't think it was a rocket. I would have said it was an ATTE shot, but there are no ATTEs left alive. Tons of ATTEs litter the battlefield dead right now. So maybe it was an ATOT shot, but I didn't think ATOTs had that powerful of cannon. So I'm not entirely sure what that was. But hey, we'll take it for the clone troopers because the clones need all the help they can get. Droids over this way, continuing to do some scatter shots into the clones from afar. Those free roaming droids, I don't think lasted very long at all. Maybe they ended up getting a kill or two. Um, there should have been free roaming droids on the right side and I'm guessing there were and they actually were set to free roam and assaulted and did what they were supposed to do, unlike the ones on the right side, which did not do anything correctly. Uh, clones continue to take some losses throughout these trenches here. These droids f uh, fighters are just kind of doing guerrilla warfare right now, which is not very appealing for the clone troopers. That is getting them into some hot water currently and resulting in a lot of their deaths. It's no bueno. Yeah, these droids are really hunkered down here, really managing to get a lot of clone trooper kills with very few troops. Not a good thing. Uh, the only thing I can say is hopefully the clones push through this way instead of going straight down mid. But right now, they're trying to clear these bunkers here, and these droids in the bunkers are just wiping the floor with them as soon as the clones come into their angle. It's like R6 Siege when you're holding a spawn a spawn peak, and, and it's just resulting in so many deaths. Oh my god. Clones. Oh, God. It's actual pain. It's actual pain watching that. Still got a few squads of clones back this way. Still got a few squads of clones over this way. These guys, at the very least, aren't really dealing with the bunker situation right now, so they're able to push a little bit farther forward into these droids in the grasslands over here. And these droids in these grasslands are, at the very least, putting up um, a good fight against the clones. So they don't really need the bunker defense. They can just go all out against these clone troopers over here. If we look at the mini map right now, blue are clone troopers left alive, red are droids left alive. I mean, the droids have been whittled down pretty hard and uh, they really only have the three vehicles left back there. And the clones really only have this one ATOT left alive right here, which actually has three vehicle kills and nine infantry kills. I didn't realize that ATOT was that good. I, I was not familiar with your game, I apologize. Uh, but it's coming forward. Hopefully it can clear this bunker for the clones. That's the hope, because right now the clones are not doing well against this bunker defense, and they have lost way too many soldiers assaulting it. Yes! Wow, that is an ATOT cannon? That's like the top of a ATT, or a, with that explosive fire. That's actually really impressive. I did. I was not familiar with your game. Hold on. That ATOT goes really, really hard. My goodness. Well, we've only got one of them, so it better do something right. The rest of them are all dead, scorched. Nothing is recruitable. These are all gone. The Republic got massacred throughout this battlefield, man. Holy cow. 
All right. Um, well, it looks like one droid remains over here. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Don't go. Just go in the bunker and kill him. Just kill him. Why are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. All right. What's going on over this way? Lots of explosions. Clone troopers, you know, sprawled throughout the trees over here, continuing their advance forward, attempting to squash the droid resistance that is continuing to thrive over here. Come on, clones. Come on. Do something here. That clone trooper just got absolutely eviscerated. I, in the distance, I saw a little helmet pew up into the air and then fall slowly to the ground. That man is without his body, and that is disturbing. <laughs> oh my god, it is gruesome for the clones right now, baby. It is not going well. No siree. Few clone troopers remaining over this way. They're starting to dilly-dally around. They're not entirely sure what to do without a concentrated force. This droid is being interrogated we have a little standoff going here just blast them boys you have like 10 clones to the one droid <laughs> what are you doing and then uh, i think these droids over here are dead no these droids are still alive the clones just ignored them I, I guess if they just go take the citadel area the clones are chill but at the moment that's not looking like a very good possibility <laughs> You are making me cringe, clone troopers. Z6 rotary cannon troop over this way, spamming some fire out. That's good. Hopefully these guys can clean up these battle droids slowly but surely. At the moment, this is looking abysmal for the clones. This full-scale invasion force is dwindling. Dwindling. I know a lot of the bodies will have been deleted, but at the very least, let's check out what we can see. Yellow are dead clones. Red are dead droids. Uh, a lot of the bodies are definitely de deleted by explosions as well as uh, walkers walking over them. But even still, hundreds of dead clone troopers strewn across the battlefield at this point. Uh, they've got maybe a hundred soldiers max left alive. Max, max. Um, I would say maybe more like 70 or something like that. And they've still got this entire citadel area to go up against plus AATs. Uh, the... ATOT -AT crew here, being the absolute heroes that they are, are going up against the ATs, trying to defeat them. Uh, I don't know what it is about this crew, but these guys are absolute top-notch fighters for the Republic. And if anyone can kill these AATs, it's them. I'm actually shocked as to how good this ATOT -AT has been this entire battle. And if it can pull off one last miracle and kill these AATs for the Republic, we might be in business. We're no longer in business. We are out of business. We are we are shuttering our doors. It's Jover. It is Jover. We've got like six droids in this bunker. This guy could just... There you go. That's as easy as it is. That's the only help I'm going to give the clones on this day. Uh, and it's because I free roamed the rest of the droids. So I just took out six droids at once for that one bazooka trooper right there. And it was that easy. Okay. So we got, like, I'm going to squat up over here. We've got seven clones over this way. Okay. We got another... Oh, sorry. No, not seven. Nine clones. Then we got another ten over here. Plus some didn't... I'd say we got 20 clones over there. And then we've got like three clones back this way that will pull forward and then maybe a couple we missed here and there. But overall, very much so not looking good for the clone trooper army. Uh, they're pushing around over this way a little bit. They got some droid fire incoming that they're going to be able to uh, hopefully respond to a little bit. Some incoming rockets, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about the incoming rockets. As long as they don't impact, we're good. There's no tanks for us to lose. The clones are completely tankless as this graveyard has formed over here. It is brutal. It is absolutely brutal. These clone troopers down mid, crawling their way forward. Not a bad strategy. If they can get some bazookas up to those droid tanks, that would be perfect. They got a one clone bazooka trooper over that way. I don't really see any up here, but bazooka trooper could definitely take out these droids over this way. All right, what's going on over here? We got more rapid-fire clone trooper movements over here. Uh-oh. Oh! Yikes. That is so not good, bro. That is so not good. We are not having a good time for the clone troopers over here at all. 
This is a bad time. Oh my good, look at this massacre, man. This amount of Republic vehicles is like a trillion dollars in credits, a trillion credits. Like, we've lost like eight ATTEs. Not to mention the TXs, which are just, they've disappeared, obviously. They've got a couple turrets around here, but like, they had like eight TXs or something. They had a lot of TXs. And then another like, yeah, like eight ATOTs or something, which were carrying like a crap ton of clone troopers. So, really, really costly loss here for the Republic. They do take out one of these AAT tanks. That's not too shabby. I'm kind of proud of that. Well done, clones. Can you take out the other two? That's the real question. Plus the droid infantry that's around here. That's the other question. We shall see. We could always do a part two where the droids just defend the Citadel area. That could be kind of cool. Or maybe just the inner city part and they abandon the trenches. If you guys would want to see a part two to this map, let me know in the comment section below. Um, but uh, until now, it seems like a clone L. Why don't we go ahead and time lapse this little clone assault over here? All right, that was five minutes. I kid you not, five minutes of clone troopers just uh, crawling forward <laughs> towards an AAT and then proceeding to get absolutely eviscerated by it. Um, I don't know what their plan was, but it was a bad one. And these are actually all the clones left alive. There's just these five clones. I guess all the clones over here did end up dying as they pushed on forward, so that didn't then super duper well for them. It really was the end citadel where the clones ended up not doing too hot. Let's try and... Oh, we can't even shoot those droids. Oh, okay. Let's try and maybe shoot the AAT. Death by a thousand blaster shots. And that's the end of the clone army. Like, hundreds of clone troopers and, and equipment later. And the clones have lost everything. Truly incredible. This droid Great Wall really, really was solid. It did lose. I mean, the clones did defeat this entire portion of the battlefield, but then they got locked up in this weird guerrilla warfare defense that the droids were toting, um, and they could not get to the Citadel. So comment down below if you guys would like to see the fortress itself assaulted in the next battle. Uh, this map, I believe, was made by Ahsoka Tano, um, who, was a, who was a map creator for Men of War Assault Squad 2. She did a really great job. It, it honestly looks fantastic. We could also do some like little you know, droid command post areas, like in here where they get assaulted, and it's symmetrical over here too. I don't think you can go in these buildings though. Yeah, you can't. So. Those are just for show, but we could do the droid fortress itself getting assaulted in the next video. If you guys would like to see it, let me know in the comment section below. Either way, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.